Yeah, we're always fuzzy. We're back to front again. We're always back front, Jane. <laughs> Okay, hello, hello, hello. How is like everybody? I'm far, too far away from you. <laughs> uh, what day is it? It is uh, Monday, the 11th of uh, March. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. Uh, sorry about no live. First off, uh, on Saturday, uh, Marty and Chris gave me their cold. So I'm all right, to be fair. I just It's just a bit nasally bunged up you know how it is luckily luckily jane hasn't got it yet so <laughs> she's trying her hardest not to get it absolutely uh so we'll wait and see on that but i hope everyone's had a good weekend uh anyway uh let's bring you up to date with on passive stuff uh first off uh yesterday uh that was sunday the 10th was the start of ramadan for most people at sunset uh i've got friends that are doing it and i have to say fair play 30 days or 29 depending on how it all falls for you uh of fasting when it's light big ask that's no liquid no food uh Can no smoking as well uh really? yeah really wow. if there is a smoker you you Gosh, uh, anything cool. like that yeah i know I think it's nothing in your mouth, actually, I think, uh, for Ramadan. And uh, for those who are of that faith, uh, fair play to you, because it's hard going. At least, look on the bright side, at least this year it's in March, whereas it has been in the middle of summer. And they're long days, because it's uh, dawn till dusk. So, a uh, long, long time without eating. Uh, so. All goes well for you. Uh, good time to quit smoking. Absolutely right, Angela Lynn, if uh, you are. Uh, it is very good. To also, uh, on Sunday, we had a tweet from Mohammed Massal as well, wishing everyone a happy Ramadan Mubarak uh, as well. Uh, also, what happened today, Monday, brand new website. And woo, isn't it a good one? If you haven't seen it yet, go and have a look at it. Uh, why is this one extra, extra special more than other ones? Because have you seen the AI video in the top right hand corner when you log in? It is impressive. Crystal, crystal clear uh, in that corner and a really good graphics. Uh, all AI as well. That is I absolutely love it. Love it. Uh, again, we are on the traditional colours of on passive, the blues, yellows. Uh, I like this style because it certainly depicts our logo. And uh, it's, for me, nice, clean, crisp, all the rest of it. And it goes, obviously, into uh, how it's been laid out uh, for a while now, which is our uh, products and services and basically what um what uh on passive is going to do for your business and other bits and pieces i hope you had time as well excuse me to listen to marty and chris uh, i do like the q and a's that they're going through at the moment very helpful for a lot of you um but guys please listen to the questions and the answers there's no point in continue asking the same question every day because uh, it's not going to change the outcome to your question OK, so uh, if obviously if you have a question that is a good question, uh, hopefully Marty and Chris will answer it uh, as well. Uh, what else have we got for you as far as on passive is concerned? Uh, obviously, we know as well on Saturday we had an extension of 10 days to O-Connect. Uh, People have said, does this mean we've got to wait another 10 days? No, it can happen any day. Uh, we can get the new updated version any day. Uh, it's put in place to give them as much time as they need uh, to sort out, obviously, all of the merchant problems that they are having. And uh, as Marty has said, and I'll say exactly the same, nobody wants this to go to the next stage more than our CEO. So let's uh, stay positive about everything. Let's uh, 
Marty had just had a very good point. I was listening to Marty. Oh, were yes. you? And yes, I was listening, Chris Johnson. Oh, was Chris Johnson here, is he? Yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, right. I was listening to him rip me as normal. That's fine. What was a very good point? Um, he was saying he wouldn't if he didn't believe in that he wouldn't even be in this business so and he certainly he wouldn't, wouldn't be hanging be around for nothing and he wouldn't do the lives every no. single day well we're, I'm, we are the same i know both but of marty us. was just sort of pushing that forward and i quite like you know it's, it's good to say that really because you don't have to be here yeah it goes back to uh the live we did the other day uh with collins uh, no sorry andy burks and comfort on choices mm. we all have a choice uh and the choice is to stay or go, wait it out, believe in the company. Those are all choices. Nobody is making mm. anybody stay. And you either okay. you either are a believer in what is trying to be done here or you're not. And if you're not, then maybe on passive is not for you. And like Ash says, go away and get on with your life. Absolutely. If you can't hang around and your fingertips are hurting then just go away and get on with your life. And it's not going to stop. It will just be there in the peripherals, you know, still going, still working, still getting there in the end, you know. Fingertips. Why haven't toes got tips, but you can tip toe? It's one of those questions that's always wondered me, isn't it? <laughs> Weirdo. I oh, know, but you don't <laughs> say your toe tips, do you? But you can still tip toe. No, love. Why not? I don't. So I just want to say Nova Scotia's in the house. Hello. Oh, that's good. Um, I know Nova it's Scotia. Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. I have no idea where that is. It just it's, sounds nice. It does. It does. Uh, we had a very good weekend. We basically not done much, have we, over the weekend? And we were saying about do something else. That's what we were saying. Uh, let's go back to that. Uh, Jane and I are heavily into uh, the gym at the moment, staying fit walking dogs that's what we've been doing yeah everybody has a choice to uh, keep themselves mentally and physically active and that's what we're doing whilst we are treading water i like to say uh, and that's where we are putting our energy in at the moment obviously as you well know uh, i am obviously working hard on my youtube channel to try and bring you as much information as possible uh, that you might need uh, obviously uh, through this channel and obviously continue the consistency of the lives that we do uh, on a daily basis so uh, that's where our energy is going and we're loving it aren't we yeah yeah I jane's think. doing so well honestly i don't Apparently. know if you're friends with jane she's uh, put a few pictures and videos and stuff up on mm. uh, chris johnson's here now so you can rip Who? chris i know Chris, we Chris. <laughs> one day I'm going to meet you. One day, I'll tell you when she does meet you. That's why she's going to the gym at the moment, so to, <laughs> so that uh, so that her yeah. right hook is yeah. going to make an impact. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> but it is uh, actually it is on the cards uh, for this year to go and say uh, go and see Chris and Marty. That's for sure. It's definitely. So. Yeah, I've, I, we are both at gym. I've got myself a little personal trainer called Harry, <laughs> who's he's only a young lad. I think literally I'm old enough to be his grandmother, but he's so knowledgeable and yeah, he's, he's very, very so good. supportive and he's just been so good with me and he really pushes me. And it's lovely, actually, that, I don't know, he's always telling me to up my weights and, you know, you can do better than that. And he's really, it's really nice to actually have somebody like push, push, push you. And I'm just starting to see results, sort of. She's been extremely good. <clears throat> that's for sure. Yeah, we do try and, you know, you you need a hobby, right? Absolutely. That is our hobby. And it's not a bad hobby to have, is it? No. As, uh, as we both say, we are doing this to look after our 80-year-old selves. Yes, that's what I might say. I'm looking after my 80-year-old self. Yeah. So what we do there is is mm. for for that. Yeah, reason. we just had news of another funeral going to. It's like yeah, we, unfortunately. Can someone get married? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> March the twenty seventh, which yeah. is a Wednesday, uh, we won't be having a three sixty on that day uh, because we have to attend a funeral and it's a late one as well for us. It's a four pm mm. in the Strange afternoon. Time. I know it is, but that's when it is. Mm. And obviously the wake after that as well. Yeah. So. But we are going there and back again. We're not staying over because no. we've got to take the dogs. So, 
quite a long drive. Yeah, it's a long drive for us yeah, as well. Down, down south. Yeah, bless him. Anyway, a lovely, lovely man who was massively in. He was a Twitter, Twitter, Twitcher, Twitcher. Yeah, you know what that is, don't you? He, he was a bird watcher, and he was he had all the gear and everything. So everyone's been asked to bring a feather to the funeral. How lovely is oh, that? Man. That's a little touches your heartstrings a little bit, doesn't it? Yes, she is, Chris. By the way, what am I ignoring him? <laughs> uh, uh, what else have we got for you? Uh, what else have we got, Jane? I don't know. Um, I oh, yeah, have, there you go. Birthdays, uh, yeah. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday, and you share it with none other than Prince Edward, don't Ooh, you? Know? Do you Eddie know boy, yeah. Do you know he's 60? I know you, you, do you know something? I, he, it, I, think. I think he's looked 60 forever. <laughs> Ev, honest. Oh well, that's right. He has. For here, hey. He's looked old um, forever. And Rupert Murdoch. Oh. Uh, mm. In fact, Rupert Murdoch is eighty-eight, and he's just got engaged again. I feel like he's more than that. No, eighty-eight. Is he eighty-eight? Yeah, eighty-eight. Just okay. got engaged again. Eighty-eight. I mean, look. Would hope would, for Chris Johnson yet? Would she have got engaged to him if he was? Skint. That is my question. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, we had a lovely weekend, guys. Our daughters, we are so blessed. We've got two lovely, lovely daughters who are, um, and what one of my, oh, anyway, they took us out on Friday night for a meal. We went to a quintessential pub. A lovely old English pub. The food was super. Inglenook fireplace. Yeah, it was fire. It was packed. It was honestly, you couldn't move, could you? No. Nope. And it was really lovely. And we had a really lovely night with the children and the grandchildren and our mother-in-law. Her, one of my daughter's mother-in-law, because she's a single lady, so she just comes everywhere. Oh, the single ladies! Yeah. Oh, the single ladies! So oh, she, okay. she's a single Pringle, and she comes everywhere. A little bit like that Chris Johnson we used to know. He's single. He's a single Pringle. And, um, and uh, yeah, we went and it was lovely. Uh, we had a really, really nice night. And my daughter gave me a Mother's Day card that says um, strong mums raise strong children. And that was lovely, that was. And they know I like a nice card. Um, but as usual, she bought me something at the garage on the way past because she's useless. Useless. <laughs> uh, but it's the thought that counts. I know. I know. We did have a lovely um a lovely evening and she's also into her fitness so she's really interested in my fitness i had lamb's and liver oh, she did. And she, mashed potato and gravy and she proper says i'm you're proper smashing it mum she says to me but um yeah so and then of course it was saturday and we went to see red's folks um in their mid 80s doing really well i thought yeah they look okay they look good they just had a new Eight. car He's moved all the furniture on his own. I mean, who, my what? dad's 87 in May, yeah. and my mother is she's pretty wheelchair bound these days, and she'll be 84 or five, I think, this year. But they're looking so, at holidays, they're going on holiday yeah. this year, bless them. Uh, also, yeah. tomorrow, this is something you can look up and have a look at if you want to. Uh, in the morning, uh, I will be going to see the Seven Boar. Colonel Daniel Lee, thank you so much for your super sticker, darling. So have a look on the internet what the seven ball what time is. is. That, on? that is at nine o'clock a.m. over at the lower party at Gloucester. So have a look yeah, at the seven ball, and it's a big one. It's a yeah. ten and a half meter. Yeah. So uh, and it's the only five star seven ball this year. So oh. I'll be going to have a look at that tomorrow. Yeah. No, not ball, ball, as in. B O R E. Yeah, bore. Bore. It's like a wave. Be a wave, basically. That comes up the river. Yeah. Uh, it, it is world famous. People come from yeah, and they all surf over. It. They surf it. <laughs> and, and, it's I think, river. and I think it, it holds the record for the longest wave ever surfed. Mm. Might be wrong, but I think so. Anyway, before you interrupt me. Sorry. No worries. I'm used to it. I was going to say it was Mother's Day oh, yesterday. Look, Kim Mills had a robot server for her birthday what? yesterday. Oh, that's cool. I didn't. You didn't have a robot. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't have got one in there. It's so tight. <laughs> um, if it was 
Mother's Day yesterday was was it Mother's Day internationally? Uh, I think most countries. I was just going to say to big up to all you mums, step mums, <laughs> single mums. Jerry Nix has got a couple of uh, neighbours who are a bore. <laughs> <laughs> I should. Oh, yeah, I'm with you there, Jerry. We've had a few of them. I know. Yeah, we've also had some nice neighbours, but we've also had some. Maybe people think we're. Boring. Which is also one of the beauties about living on a boat. Just move. Just move. Yeah. Ah, I, I, okay. So Lolly said in the States, Mother's Day is in May. Ah, okay. I think yeah, all, okay. Uh, all of Europe, I know, Mother's Day was yesterday. Because it wasn't. No, yes, Spain. Spain was as well. Do they normally don't share it, do they? It was Dia de Madre. Oh, was it? No. It Not was. in Australia until May either, so says Narelle. So oh, okay. obviously it must be. And Canada. So obviously we're a little bit ahead of everyone here. Yeah. Because everyone seems to be in May. Thank you, Lolly. Saying happy Mother's Day, Matt and Jane. Thank you. And what a mother she is. Oh, I try. Yeah, Jane okay. Lever's saying it's in May, Canada's May. Yeah. There you go. Uh, sorry about the time change as well for mm. you English and Europeans. Uh, the Americans have done it again, haven't they? Got they've gone two two weeks early, it's all as about them, always. Isn't it? it's all about them. So they've sprung forward. Uh, on Sunday, and here we are lollygagging for two weeks until around about the 31st of May, uh, March, normally. What, before we catch up? Yeah, it's normally the last Sunday in March, and then we will spring forward as well, lose an mm. hour's sleep. Yeah, look at that. See, George Lukakamwa says theirs is in May as well. Oh, right, I think for, it looks for Uganda. Like obviously, just the UKans and Europe I think it's Europe <laughs> Europe and, and UK yeah I think anyway it was a lovely lovely day and it is yes I agree with you Pam Crowick says being a mother is one of the hardest things she's ever done I agree with you and it doesn't stop really it doesn't matter no. how old they get that's the no thing. I mean our eldest is 40 this year and I would say they don't rely on me but I'm definitely I speak to them both every day. You know, uh, my youngest daughter rings me about eight times a day. Yeah. On her way to work, when she comes out of a meeting, on her way back from work. <laughs> Someone annoys most her at work. Mo most people in a car <laughs> put a radio on to entertain them uh, whilst they're know. driving from one place or another. Our daughter, youngest daughter, yeah. no, ring yeah. mum. Oh, I was on the treadmill this morning, she rang me. And then, obviously, because she's on a hands-free talking uh, to us, and driving, we get some very choice terminologies yeah. oh, of, yeah. of what she thinks oh, of yeah. other people's driving. Mm, yeah, she could be a bit aggressive driving sometimes it's a, it, in the city. Red, red mist and blue words. Uh, uh. That's for sure. Yeah. See, Lolly's a stepmom. See? Ah, lovely. I'm a step monster. I'm not a mum, I'm a step monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite fun. Yeah. A few of them. I'm just looking, there's some new names on here. Is there? Uh, oh, that's nice. Good. People that I've not seen before. There's 239 people. On yeah, there. Uh, let's just go back to on passive. Uh, am I expecting to see our, see our CEO this week? Yes, I am. I, I did say, didn't I, last week that, I, in my opinion, uh, we wouldn't see him on 360. Uh, that was what I thought. And I don't want to say I was right because I'd rather see him. Are you going to? No. And no, I'm just going to say that I would ra much rather uh, see him. I but see um, being right. I know exactly. What are the chances? Um, but I am definitely expecting to see him this week. And obviously, we know we've got a 10 day extension, and we know that he is doing everything he possibly can, guys. Honestly, I, I cannot emphasise enough of what he is trying to do mm. and achieve. It, the easiest thing <clears throat> would to not worry about paying us people. Yeah, doing he said this, didn't he? Promising it's quite what, easily. Promising not. what he wants uh, to do, and that is to make us the ones who are going to benefit the most from on passive, not the company. Uh, so that is for me enough. You know, mm. and I will certainly uh, follow him to the ends of the earth. Chris is trying to get you to say red. I know he is. Chris. Yeah. 
<laughs> and there he is, and there he's aggravating me, isn't he? Jerry Nick says his computer's not been. We our computer's on its way out, really. If I'm honest, I think if Red uh, uh, buys one more thing to add to it to make it work, it I works really, all right now. Uh, I'm just like, just go and buy a new computer, will you? It's your life, you know. Yeah. No, no, no. So, I mean, you're still using the phone that Ash kindly gave you, gifted to you four years ago. Uh, four, yeah. Yeah. Because he's not really bothered about upgrading. When he doesn't like wasting money like that, do you? Uh, I I think the terminology is I'm tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to be kind. I was trying to do it the nice way. Not, but yes, you are. I am. <laughs> if I didn't have a good oil in, I'd squeak you when would. I walked. You can peel an orange in his pocket. I can. Absolutely. I like a bargain. In fact, talking of bargains, oh. yesterday. Uh, we took the boat out. We try and run the engine at oh, least yeah. once a week. And there is a local supermarket just up the road. And we can moor directly outside it. Yeah. It's literally half Most a mile. Most people take the car to the supermarket. We take the we boat. We took the boat. <laughs> so we to, do. Uh, to run the engine. And they had a Mother's Day special, a medium whole uh, chicken, not cooked, was two pounds and forty nine pence. So and if you're English, you'll know that that's quite cheap at the moment. And if you are British. in the states, that is three bucks. Yeah, I don't. We three don't, bucks we for a whole know chicken. How much a whole chicken costs over there? Well, I have no but idea. It was, but it's cheap. It was. I did text. So we bought my, three. I text a few of my friends who get there. Scurried round to buy them out because it was a bargain. Yeah. So, um, and food's expensive at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, but. Those chickens, I mean, that we get two, three meals out of a whole chicken. So, and we've bought three for seven pounds and fifty pence, roughly speaking. Mm, yeah. What yeah, a, bargain. a bargain. Yeah, I don't know how much it costs where you live. but And I, um, obviously I cook. So for me, fantastic. He does. I do. In fact, we're cooking tonight. I'm cooking tonight. We have got... Uh, don't sound very good. No, you know, no, when we, he says what we're having tonight, you're going to go, ooh. No, we've got a sorted white cabbage with onions, a little bit white wine, butter, and I'm going to uh, steam that through, fry it first, steam it through so it's soft, and then we are having uh, the cooked chicken Some chip, cooked over chicken. the top of that and yeah. maybe do a bit of mm. gravy. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So yeah. healthy, healthy, mm -hmm. cooking olive oil or rapeseed oil. I don't so, know if I've spoken to anyone since. Did we? When did we go to see June? Last Monday. Uh, last Monday. Yeah. I haven't spoken to anyone since then. It was amazing. It was loud. It was so good. It's oh, quite a long. Good. It's quite. I'm going to say it's nearly three hours yeah, long. Yeah, just shy of three. But it was super. If anyone's thinking of going to see it, it was super, super good. And it's a cheap ticket in Gloucester on Monday to Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's a cheap ticket. So we're <laughs> right tight answers. On no, that. I, we're just using <laughs> the facilities. Yeah. To their to what they're offering. Yeah, do what you can with what you have at the Absolutely, time, right? yeah. And we, I, I want to go and see it again because it was so Was it as dark good. as the first? Uh, uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, there's yeah. some pretty horrible people in there. Yeah, no, it was it was pretty dark. And there's some very good um, star, Great acting. stars, if you like, uh, like uh, Austin Butler. If you, have, if you haven't seen it yet, it, it all I'll say is it sets itself up nicely for um june the messiah so if you've read the books which were if you've read the books which i had when i was a kid which was june i think the author's son took over the writing of june and made it more interstellar after um uh, which is june the messiah oh. but the first part of june the messiah is based mm -hmm. around uh june the planet and then it goes mm -hmm. towards the other planets and goes a bit more weird but some very good acting zendaya and oh brilliant i mean these are all from your own side of the pond aren't they zendaya and austin butler and who else was in it um oh, what's the guy called um oh. he what he wasn't in the second one was he uh aquaman geezer oh um that's um oh it's on tip of my which tongue. is rubbish by the way aquaman <laughs> yeah. 2 oh yeah. my word um Oh. Yeah, Avatar 3, yeah, that's coming. 
Um, I knew about that gene anyway, because I think part of when they finally got round to doing the second avatar, they did two and three back to back when they were over in New Zealand. I think that was always part of George's plan. Oh, uh, Timothy for, Chameleg. That's, that's what him. I was trying to think of. It's come to me in the end. And I can't remember the uh, uh, Hawaiian all, geezer. We all know who Aquaman is, don't we? Oh, I can't oh, remember. Jason it. Momoa. That's him. Yeah. He's from one of the islands off Hawaii, I think, isn't he? Or something like that. Or is it? Is he a Fijian? No, uh, Hawaiian. Yeah. I think uh, so. Anyway, right. Do you want to say hellos? Yeah, we'll say a few hellos then. Uh, now mm. we've uh, <laughs> talked and talked about rubbish. Give, stolen half an hour of your time, you'll never get back. Yeah. Uh, so we'll start off with the tea clubbers, all in green. And uh, thank you, as always, guys, for your monthly support. So we'll start with Gina Lever and M. Kaylee. Uh, stick your names down, guys. I'll give you a. Good shout out. And then we'll move over to everybody else. Chris de Grazia, you are a tea clubber. Thanks for your support. Uh, Karen Thomas, hello to you. Uh, Curtis Strickland and Jerry Nix. Dennis Eldridge, you are there as well. Uh, don't worry about the mule. No, I don't get that. It's, it's one about the, yeah, it's an old saying. It was saying, Jarmo, you are there, sunning himself over in Tenerife. Uh, Christina Dodds, hi to you. Uh, do a couple more tea clubbers and then we'll move over. Uh, okay, we'll awesome. move over then. Uh, Shridget Jana, there you go. Robert McGahey, Kanam, uh, Srinivas, I think that is. Bolly Who, your tea club in it. George Luca Camwa, Frank Rowe, Gio Sordo, Taranya, Aseto Sampho, Jordine Gaskin. Hi to you, Ajit Markey and Frank Rowe. Than Nuja, Momin, hi to you. Lovely Lynn Makato, Nak Maka. Lynn Nakamoto, you're there. Michael C. <laughs> Gemma Ramaki. I know. Norelli is up. Yvonne mm. uh, Finn, you are there. Uh, Tonya Hannard, Frank Rowe, Aseti Sampho, Cynthia Deering, uh, Nuno Santos, Gemma Ramaki, Michael Chatter. Uh, we've also got Santina Zamanek, you are T Club in it, Michael C, Kido, Angela Lynn, T Club in it, and Levi, hi to you. Great saying that, Angela Lynn. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, guy from Greece that I can't remember or say your name, but thank you, Monaj and Camila, John Berea, you are there. Uh, we've got Chunu Thakur. Thakur. I think. Greg Greisner, you are there, T. Clement, Shirley Dotson. Uh, Clover Kelly, hi to you. And we've also got Taryn Yar, if I haven't said hello to you. Uh, da, da, da. Camilla Schwartz, or is it Schwartz? Schwartz. Schwartz, I think. Frank Rowe, you are in the house. And a couple more, then we are out of here. Let's do Kim Mills. Uh, Shamail Ruby and Nabi. Kim are celebrating their 41st wedding anniversary tomorrow. Wow, wow. congratulations, guys! Woo. Yeah, that is a, medals uh, in the post. Judy Rice, you are there, Richard Lamoth, and the last one then will go to Robert D. Oaks and Mary Tienda. There you go, guys. Thank, Thank you God. so much, as always, for coming on Monday Fun Day. Um, <laughs> Thanks, guys. I would like to give you a bit more on passive updates, but there's none about. So let's just have a chat and talk about whatever we feel like. Yeah, and just stay relaxed, guys. Yeah, We're stay relaxed. relaxed. We're relaxed very much so. We're relaxed. Yeah, I am 100% confident in this company. It's not a question of if, it is a question of when. Yeah. And I am absolutely fine with that. I know some people aren't, uh, but that. That's on them, not on me. So yeah. uh, all I can do is convey our uh, relaxation, as John Breer says, chill out. Yes. We certainly are. And we've got the other dog back, as you can this see. This is Phineas. He's just the most adorable. Yeah. yeah. Phineas. Anyway, on that note, say hello to Finn, and then we're going to go. <laughs> Hi, Finn. <laughs> see you later, guys. See you later, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow, normal Bye. time. Bye.